Okay, for my brow, I use the Ruby Kisses, and I use it in a, let's see what color it is. Um, I use it in a dark brown, and I buy them like a three-pack, so I can have them all the time, because if I run out, I'll cry. <laughs> so, um, I just draw a line where my brow's supposed to be, because we know I don't have no brows. Okay. And I take and I connect that line. Okay, and I do the same on the other side. Draw a line where my brow is supposed to be. I have enough of a brow. That I, but if I lift up like this, you can see the indentation of where my brow is supposed to be. So that helps. I try to match it up the best that I can. But to be honest, like the best they're going to be is sisters like if they're no, normally my brows are cousins first cousins and I just fill it in yeah normally they're like first cousins so they still look hair like these are a little bit bolder you can go lighter handed um, and then you can clean them up with some concealer that's my saving grace yeah and then this eye the the arch stops right here but this eye the arch stops right here so it's like a little hair different and so when you kind of measure out your bras you'll see that okay then i use my um this one is la colors okay i use that i don't buy expensive concealer i get this at the dollar store um, you can get it at a beauty supply store. The most I pay is like $3. Okay, so you go ahead and you line, outline your brow. And then what I do is, I mean, you could use this to do it. To go ahead and like blend it in. But I use a brush. I try to find a nice thin brush like this I'll do this side for you I don't know what my brushes are so if you if you want to know what brushes I like Morphe brushes like they're my favorite but there's a brush that's on Amazon called J uh, I can't uh, it'll be in my store they're good brushes too alright so foundation I've been using this KVD locket I really like it. Um, what color am I using? Deep 6'6 six, six, Cool. I really like it. So I put on my, oh, primer. Let's do primer. <laughs> I almost forgot my primer. I've been using the Huda Beauty primer. I literally just put it where... I need it in my T-zone because I'm dry. My skin is dry. It's not really. Um, I'll put that back there. All right. I use one pump on one side, one pump on the other side. So two pumps. All right. So I kind of stipple it on my face. And you see it gives a, it gives a good complexion. Like it's a little red, but I'm golden and I'm warm. I could be either. I pull neutral. Neutral works best for me. Well, I like warm, so there's that. <laughs> you can do what you're supposed to do, and you can do what you want to do. Like that's the beauty of makeup. I don't put too much under my eye because I know I'm going to use concealer. So I just kind of get it. Make sure you get it in your neck. You don't want to do too something too far off because then you got to blend your neck. All right, can you tell I got things for Huda products? Now for the Huda concealer. <laughs> I love Huda. Um, this is in caramel corn. Yeah, I'm. I'm. There's certain products that I just love, and I love this cool tip, cooling tip. So I just put a little bit under my eye, and then I use it to do my face. And normally I do my eyes first. 
But I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my eyes. So I decided to do it second. And so I do this and I let it sit for a while. Okay, after that I kind of bring it down. And the way I blend it out, like some people will sit down like pat all day blending it out. I'm not going to do that. Now, I don't go around here with it because I have hyperpigmentation there. What I do is I find a cheat. I go to my foundation brush and I do a little bit of a little swirl on the pad. Again, a little bit of a swirl or like a fan out or something like that in a pad. And I try not to mess up what I have there. Try not to disturb it. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it with some powder. When I set it with powder, it's going to make it all good. Alright, so that's that. And then I'll show you setting it with powder. Because I'm dry, I don't like a lot of powder. So Too Faced, this, this banana powder and Orphus powder. Oh my goodness. So it's so cute. So it smells like bananas. Okay, I put a little bit on my brush. And I don't like cake it. I just pat it enough to make it look reasonable. I don't go too far down my mouth because I get a I get real dry right there. And then I'll be looking cake face. Another thing you can do is if you have dry skin, you can prep with some spray first. Some spray, They have setting spray that's like a primer now. I kind of go over my eyes a little bit. Yeah, they have a, a primer spray. You can do that first. Okay. Good stuff. And then I take the Too Fast, Too Fast, Too Face <laughs> Hangover 3 in 1. Again, you can use this as a primer spray too. Give it a good spray. Before I start putting anything else on. Alright, so let's prep the eyes. I do it with a white base. And this one is from the dollar store. And I have a little brush that I use. And I put a little bit right here because of my skin, my melanin popping. I have to take the melanin out. Now, some of them you don't have to, and it depends on how bright you like your colors. I like my colors um obnoxiously bright so that's why i put down the white base okay now we're going to do our eyeshadow with the orange shirt sorbet sorbet not sherbet sorbet <laughs> from bh cosmetics this line hey everybody going crazy it is beautiful i tell you beautiful okay so we're going to use um i'm going to use the darker for my edge Okay, my outer. I'm going to use this for my middle, this for my inner, and then I'll probably glitter it up. Okay, that's how we're going to do. So let's start with the outer first. I'm going to use a little dome shade, shaped. See how dark that gives me. And I'm just going to pat it on. I think I want to do like a circular. I normally do a, um, a cat eye. I think I want to do a circular look today. Okay, so I went ahead and did that on both eyes. I'll clean that up with some concealer. I only want a little bit darkness on my edges. Now I'm going to go ahead and use this extra topping. No, I'm going to use this uh, zest. This zest color. In the middle. It's like the brightest, most neon color one. See how that, that's looking? So pretty. Just put that in the middle. And I, I just pat and I place all my colors first. And then I blend if I have to. Some things just kind of like these are kind of blending together on their own. Like they recognize their, each other. They're like, we're friends. We come from the same palette. So it doesn't have to. And the colors are not that far apart. Okay. All right, now I'm going to use my inner color. It's tangerine, which is a lighter color. 
so it may give me a harder time. Not too much. Not give me too much of a harder time. It's not showing up as much. I probably could have put more white, but you can definitely see the gradient. And I'm going to blend a little bit in there. And the way I blend is I just circle it in. Some people may not want their eyeshadow to go up so high. I like mine because I have hooded eyes, so it's hard to see my eyes. So I kind of go like almost up to the brim. Now, I'm not going to do too much because I'm going to go in there with some glitter. I'm trying to, I may go in the middle. I'm trying to decide now. All right, for the glitter, I think I'm going to use this um, Citron right here. And I think I'm just going to take it on my finger because the finger gives warmth. And I'm just going to put it right here in the middle. That way you can still see my gradient up top. I'm going to do that on this side too. And again, I just use my finger. And any fallout, I'll clean up. I kind of want to put a little bit underneath. Okay. All right. I'm going to just take some of these colors and go under my eye. All right. So I put it under my eye. Now I'm going to get some blush. This looks horrible, but you can tell I use it. This is the um, Alamar Cosmetics. This is like their first uh, blush palette. I got a boxy charm. And it has this beautiful, like, look how much I hit pan orange on here. So I'm going to go ahead and take that orange. And I'm going to... I love to look like a blush queen. I tell you, boy. Barbie, Barbie, Barbie. And so you see it's like really pretty. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blush, like buff it out. I'm not going to keep it like this. But I, I mean, look at that. Mascara, this is the Better Than Six, Sex Too Faced Mascara. Because even though I'm putting on lashes, I like to have my mascara on. I'm going to use my Super Glam model, Super Glam Beauty, sorry, Super Glam Beauty lashes. They're going to be in my storefront. Okay. Here they are. Alright, so this is the lash. And I use the super hole glue. Okay, super strong hole. Go ahead and I make sure I put a nice big dot on the sides. And then I wipe it. This These have a nice clear band. So, I mean, it's not going to be all chunky on your eye if I fan it a little bit give it some tack okay then I bend it then I place it I'm gonna let it dry That yeah, looks really pretty, right? Okay, I don't bend it yet. Like, I don't mess with it. I just kind of place it and let it dry on. And then I go in and start messing with it. Alright, so I'm going to use that dark brown. And I'm going to line my lips. I like to rub it together so it can blend. This is a very dry pencil, so it's really good. And then I'm going to use my ColourPop stick. And which one is this one? Hmm. This is Girl Gang. It reminds me of my Huda Beauty favorite Huda Beauty one. It's very chocolate. I 
I'm giving myself a chocolate base. All right, and stay tuned for the end, the rest of the look. All right, so now I am done, and I'm ready for work. <laughs> Thanks for getting ready with me. Look forward to seeing you again. Make sure that you uh, like and subscribe, or if you're on my Instagram or my TikTok, make sure you follow me. I look forward to doing more tutorials with you. Bye. Thank you.